Hello everybody, Billy from Blind Spot Gear. Now I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Now Adam also asked me to do a little setup here, uh, demonstrating a live streaming setup. Now a lot of you will know me from Blind Spot Gear. Uh, we make lights and portable powering devices. But before that, I was a documentary cameraman. Uh, I shot documentaries in Africa, India, Australia, uh, all over the place. And like a lot of you, uh, I'm exploring live streaming at the moment. We're all stuck uh, inside or outside. We can't really move around and we all wanna get our content out there. And live streaming is a, a great platform. So what I'm gonna do here is talk a little bit about the brief of what we're filming and then uh, go from the cameras through to the computer uh, and talk about the workflow. So what we have here is a little gardening setup. Uh, my beautiful wife in the background there is gonna pot some plants and show you how it's done. So um, this is camera one I can switch to. Uh, camera two and then there's the the master uh, which is actually camera one but for the all intents and purposes uh, it is camera two I just realized my ticker is going on at the, by, at the bottom I was gonna show you that later but uh, never mind we'll just continue on um, so that is the brief uh, and now for the cameras we have a Fuji X-T3 over there a Sony a7 and a Sony f5 so we've got a, a big array of cameras, uh, so apologies if the colors uh, aren't matching 100%. Now, the F5 is easy because it's SDI out straight into the back of the monitor, but for the mirrorless cameras, you have to convert HDMI signal into an SDI signal. Now, it's not that complicated, I'll show you. Uh, apologies if I go off mic here, I'll just uh, pitch up a little bit. So if I take this off, we have a Atomos converter which converts HDMI to SDI. Very simple, uh, HDMI into it, SDI straight out. Now it has to be powered, which you can power from a USB, five volts. Uh, now the great thing is the power junkie uh, is rigged up here. That can power the camera with a dummy battery and it also has two USB outs, which means you can just take an output from there, plug it into the converter and that can convert the, uh, the signal to SDI and then you can plug it uh, into the back of your monitor or monitor slash switcher i guess you should call it nowadays uh right so then we can show you the the monitor uh, all the signals are coming into here so if you can zoom in on that uh here i have it in the the four switches so i have four uh, different feeds so i can see each feed uh if i take off that overlay you can see them a bit clearer uh so this is the camera feed one, the master, then uh, camera one, camera two, and I'll come to this uh, feed four later on. So it's, it's as simple as you just push the button, um, or don't push the button, you push the image you want, and it cuts uh, nice and easy. So if we come out of that, um, back to a wide, and then this has an SDI output, that's going into this uh, Inogini um, SDI to USB, that comes into the computer uh, and then it goes into OBS which is a live streaming platform. Uh, now the great thing about this OBS system is you can put overlays in which is what I was talking about earlier. So here's one uh, we've set up with a little um, little ticker at the bottom saying sign up to Instagram and YouTube which uh, which you can do now. It's uh, at blind spot gear. Um, then we have one this is a live chat overlay with some chat on the side. Uh, which I haven't actually put in there. <laughs> um, and then I, you can see a couple other ones I've been doing. Uh, that's a safari park. Um, here's a local church I did some streaming for. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it on the, uh, the little ticker at the bottom. So that is the setup. Uh, a way to add an extra bit of sheen to the whole production is to do some pre-recorded material. Now for this, you'd ideally want something um, gardening related but I just grabbed something off the old uh, back catalogue and we have uh, this little box which is a Zoom Vision uh, HDMI little player that's converted into SDI as well and going into feed 4 
So you can just queue up any material you want, uh, hit play, and then cut to the, the feed. Um, and that's now showing a beautiful drone image in, uh, in, the, in the west of Scotland. You can then come back to um, camera one, uh, you know, talk a, bit, a little bit about whatever it is you're talking about, and then come to uh, the, the feed again, uh, the pre-recorded material. So it's a nice way of, um, of, of adding a little bit of extra um, production value. So that is pretty much it, I think. Uh, we have a 416 microphone going into the, the F5. That's what you're hearing. Um, yeah, it's a pretty simple system. Uh, so stay safe, stay well, and we will see you soon.